Tesla Cybertruck Pilot production line is up and running at Giga Texas. Tesla shared a never-before-seen look-in at the Cybertruck Pilot production line at Giga Texas today. The Tesla Cybertruck was unveiled in late 2019, and after delays for several years, the automaker is finally ready to start production. After delays have set the automaker back in finally starting the manufacturing of the all-electric pickup. It appears that after months of tracking action at Giga Texas, including the delivery and installation of production equipment for the Cybertruck, early pilot lines have finally been established and are building early production models. Some of these early Cybertruck builds have likely been spotted at Tesla events such as the one that was seen at the recent Investor Day at Giga Texas. The automaker has been somewhat frugal in terms of details about where the Cybertruck stands in terms of manufacturing, but this is by far the most detailed look thus far. Tesla also updated Cybertruck production timelines in its Q1 2023 earnings shareholder deck. Equipment installation for Cybertruck production at Gigafactory Texas continued in Q1 and remains on track. Tesla CEO Elon Musk said during the Q4 2022 and full-year earnings call that Cybertruck production was set to begin in the summer. We do expect production to start sometime this summer, but I always kind of downplay the start of production because the start of production is always very slow. In terms of the Cybertruck line itself, Musk recently spent several hours walking the production line at Giga Texas, readying it for early manufacturing phases that will likely see the first units make their way to customers. Based on recent sightings in and around Texas and California, the Cybertruck is getting close. Tesla continues to refine the vehicle's accessories, like its wiper and tonneau. At the same time, Musk and chief vehicle designer Franz von Holzhausen have indicated the company has finalized the design, for the most part, that is. Source. Reposted and summarized from Joey Klender at Teslarati. Estimated Tesla order backlog slightly decreased. The estimated Tesla global electric car order backlog remains relatively stable in early 2023 with slight signs of a decrease, which would indicate that supply slightly exceeds demand. According to Troy Teslike, an invaluable source for Tesla stats and forecasts, the estimated global order backlog as of March 31, 2023, was roughly 102,000, which is about 4,000 units or nearly 4% less than a month earlier. The numbers are based on carefully tracked Tesla-related stats production volume, average wait times for each model, as shown in the attached tweet. The number of 102,000 units corresponds to about 28 days of manufacturing capacity down two days in a matter of one month, according to the report. Those are still minor moves, but if we consider the recent price reduction in the United States two times in April and in Europe by as much as 10%, it seems that Tesla is trying to make the cars less expensive to increase volume. For reference, here are the numbers for previous periods wait times. March 31, 2023, 102,028 days. March 16, 2023, 103,029 days. February 28, 2023, 106,030 days. February 15, 2023, 106,030 days. January 31, 2023, 87,026 days. January 15, 2023, 107,030 days. December 31, 2022, 74,023 days. December 8, 2022, 163,040 days. November 30, 2022, 190,044 days. October 31, 2022, 285,000. September 30, 2022, 299,000. August 31, 2022, 385,000. 
March July 2022 around 470,000 January February 2022 less than 400,000 in terms of particular markets it seems that in the United States the estimated order backlog is decreasing faster than in other markets as of the end of March it was just 44,599 units worth some 32 days of waiting. On the other hand, in Europe, things improved and the number increased to 33,430 33 days. We are now eager to see what will happen next, after April's price reductions. Because at some point the cars should become affordable enough to support the production scale of up to 2 million units per year. Estimated order backlog. United States. 44,599 32 days decrease by 4 days in 2 weeks. Canada. 2010 27 days decreased by 2 days in 2 weeks. Europe. 33,430 33 days increase by 4 days in 2 weeks. China. 12,008 15 days decreased by 1 day in 2 weeks. Other. 9,768 44 days no change. Total. Roughly 101,815 28 days decreased by one day in two weeks. Source. Reposted and summarized from Mark Kane at Inside EVS. Elon Musk may have been right his Tesla Model Y guess could come true. Tesla CEO Elon Musk said some time ago that the Model Y would outsell all of Tesla's other cars, and by a wide margin. This came as a surprise since it's much more expensive than the popular Model 3. The CEO went on to predict that the Model Y would eventually become the best-selling car in the world. Many people thought he was crazy, but there's a much better chance of it actually happening than you might think. When the Tesla Model Y first debuted, it was a bit of a disappointment to many people. The entire unveiling ceremony revolved around the history of Tesla, and the electric crossover was barely present. When it was finally shown, it wasn't shown in great detail, and there was no look at the third row. All you could really tell was that it wasn't much more than an inflated Model 3. That said, the Model Y has been selling exceedingly well across the globe. In fact, it already made some top sales lists in 2022, and Tesla's sales stand to be much stronger in 2023. While many people love to pick on Elon Musk for his wild ideas and terrible timelines, he often proves them wrong. Sure, there are some promises Musk has made that have come true very late or still not come to fruition but many of his dreams people doubted years ago are already a reality. If all continues to move forward as it has thus far this year, Musk could have another I told you so moment. According to Electrek, Musk said in 2016 that the Model Y would create demand for 500,000 to 1 million units per year and eventually become the world's best-selling passenger car of any kind. Keep in mind, it didn't even come to market until 2020. In 2022, Tesla noted that the Model Y would soon keep pace with the top-selling Toyota Corolla, which sees some 1.2 million units sold per year. Tesla could inform us during its upcoming earnings meeting that the Model Y is already on track to become the best-selling car in the world as early as this year. It topped all rivals in China, the world's biggest automotive market, for Q1 2023. Meanwhile, in the world's second largest car market, the US, early data points to the Model Y being the best selling passenger car for the quarter. The Model Y is also breaking sales records in many European markets, and Tesla has ramped up its production at Giga Berlin to 5,000 copies per week. Tesla is also ramping up production at Giga Texas while constantly making tweaks and upgrades in Fremont and Shanghai. Tesla aims to produce some 1.8 million EVs globally in 2023, though Musk has said the company could possibly achieve 2 million. If everything falls into place as planned, 
the Model Y has a very good chance of being the best-selling car in the world. Source. Reposted and summarized from Stephen Loveday at Inside EVS. Tesla and other EV makers could disrupt U.S. agricultural market. With electric vehicles gaining traction in the U.S. automotive market, some analysts are wondering if Tesla and other EV makers could significantly disrupt the demand for corn. For agricultural machinery manufacturers like John Deere, this could spell trouble for the future of ethanol. Especially given the latest climate targets in the U.S., Deere could be threatened by weakening corn and ethanol demand in the coming decades, as climate goals prioritizing EVs continue to gain popularity, according to a report from Barron's. While Tesla and major automakers pivoting toward an EV future aren't specifically targeting Deere or ethanol demand with their business strategies. A decreasing need for the fuel seems a likely outcome of U.S. goals for EV adoption. In recent weeks, President Joe Biden and the Environmental Protection Agency put forward a proposal to require two-thirds of new car sales to be electric by 2032. If enacted, the goal would forecast a rough annual sales target of 10 to 11 million EVs sold annually by the same year. The U.S. produces around a third of the global corn supply, amounting to about 15 billion bushels or 380 million metric tons per year, according to Barron's. Crucially, the outlet also notes that over 40% of the corn crop in the U.S. is used for ethanol production. Ethanol is produced by mixing corn crops with gasoline, and climate goals in the U.S. favoring EVs pose a major threat to the fuel's demand, according to some. In a recent report, D.A. Davidson analyst Michael Schliske pointed out the relationship between increasing EV sales and the overall need for ethanol products. This week's new EPA greenhouse gas rules for cars almost mandate a much faster EV adoption curve than many thought. Schliske said. The regulatory and political changes skew negative for ethanol. Along with the newly proposed target, U.S. states including California, New York and Oregon and countries beyond the U.S. have moved to ban the sale of new gas cars by 2035. Additionally, legacy automakers including Ford, General Motors and several others have followed in Tesla's footsteps, pivoting toward EVs with huge investments in the sector. To be sure, Deere could do the same as legacy automakers by shifting toward electrification, or it could work with Tesla or any of these other OEMs on electric equipment. The company is also likely to be decades away from the ethanol supply being seriously affected by the new EV rules, and Schliske is optimistic about the company's ability to adjust. Deere is by no means doomed, Schliske added. A company does not stay in business for over 180 years if it is not able to adapt to the times. Source. Reposted and summarized from Evanex at Inside EVS. Tesla's new battery pack assembly line coming together in Fremont. You can't produce electric cars without battery packs, and getting the cells in packs isn't necessarily easy across the industry. There's not enough mining or refining, and most cells and packs are produced by foreign companies, which isn't helpful for the new EV tax credit. However, Tesla has proven since early on that it can secure the batteries it needs to crank out many more EVs than its rivals, and now it's adding to its advantage. We reported some time ago that Tesla was planning a new battery production line to be located on the second floor of its original factory, in Fremont, California. The information was available in various local filings, which were discovered and shared by Tesla Rati. The publication also shared that the line is Tesla's second battery-related project at the factory. The EV maker is reportedly also constructing an initial Cybertruck battery pack line nearby. The original filings with the city of Fremont related to the battery pack assembly line date back to at least September 2022. Essentially, they just revealed that the project was likely to become a reality, 
though, as usual, Tesla hasn't made any official announcements. The publication notes that the new battery production line has separate filings from those associated with the Cybertruck line. The filing for the second line has a different name and is listed as a separate project. For example, Tesla specifies the Cybertruck line with the filing title, CTA Battery B Build. The second line is titled Pack B Build in the separate filings. At any rate, the latest filings related to the second battery assembly line at Fremont show that it has been under construction for many months now. And it may end up being larger than originally intended. Tesla is now adding an additional tooling station and three more airdrops. The company filed for permits in September 2022, made revisions in December 2022, and installed the first tools on the line in February 2023. Tesla also produces batteries in partnership with Panasonic at its Nevada Gigafactory. In addition, it's making its own proprietary 4,680 battery cells at an assembly line on Cato Road, near the Fremont factory. The company also built two other newer battery assembly lines recently. This is all a very clear indication that Tesla has every intent to continue ramping up EV production and sales in a big way going forward. Source. Reposted and summarized from Stephen Loveday at Inside EVS. First time Tesla semi driver from Pepsi shares details. A Tesla semi-truck just happened to show up in a neighborhood and the driver answered some questions about the electric truck. He had mostly positive words to share about the truck, though he spent very little time using it. We know Tesla delivered some electric semis thanks to the official delivery party, and we know they went to PepsiCo and its subsidiary Frito-Lay. We also know what Tesla told us about the Class 8 hauler's specs when it was initially unveiled. However, aside from these details, there's been very little official information, which comes as no surprise since Tesla tends to be quite secretive in many cases. Recently, we learned that some of the Tesla semis that have been seen broken down on the side of the road likely had a touchscreen glitch. However, there has been no confirmation from Tesla. Most other recently shared details that have come along have also been related to the electric haulers spotted in the wild, rather than directly from the US EV maker. When Tesla fan and Reddit user U. Asymptotally spotted the semi across the street, he was excited to snap some photos to share. Fortunately, he was also able to talk to the driver. The Tesla semi-driver claimed it was his very first day driving the electric truck. He also said he only had one hour of training. While that may not seem like enough, the driver almost certainly has a license to drive semi-trucks, and aside from the powertrain. Driving Tesla's hauler shouldn't prove a whole lot different from being behind the wheel of any Class 8 truck. However, the driver did say he wasn't trained on Tesla autopilot which seems strange. In terms of details about the Tesla Semi itself, the driver said he was happy with its smooth ride, but he admitted he was struggling with the Tesla app. Other details were revealed by the Reddit user in the comments, and other commenters pointed out backquote backquote interesting observations from the photos he shared. For example, the controls in the Semi look sleek and futuristic but they're just the same simple components from Tesla's other models. It has a steering wheel that's similar to the round option for the Model S and X, along with stocks like those in the Model 3 and Y. The Semi also has Tesla's discontinued cloth seats rather than the synthetic leather you'll find in current models. Based on information in the images, it appears the Tesla Semi had 374 miles of driving range remaining and the battery was at around 80% of full capacity. If this is accurate, then it coincides with Tesla's claimed 500 miles of estimated range. Source. Reposted and summarized from Stephen Loveday at Inside EVS. <laughs>